Hi, my name is Greg, and I help guys who want to cut back on their drinking, but without having to quit. In this short video, I'm going to teach you a process you can put to use immediately, like tonight, to start drinking less. To start off with, I'm going to explain about habits. A habit is a type of feedback loop with four elements, cue, urge, drink, and reward. The cue in a habit refers to conditions that are present before or when you start drinking much of the time. Examples are the time of day, events like getting home from work, being in the presence of other people who are drinking, and also emotional states like feeling bored or anxious or celebratory can be cues. So based on your past drinking experience, your brain has made an association between these conditions and the reward of drinking. And once that association is created, what happens is that when you next observe the cues, your brain reacts by giving you a shot of the neurotransmitter dopamine. This creates an urge, which is an actual physiological response that makes you want to drink. This response motivates you into action to make sure you don't miss out on this golden opportunity to get the reward. So normally what happens is when you uh, have an urge, you obey it, and you drink. This gives your brain the reward that it was seeking, which is both the pleasure associated with the drink, the taste, and the buzz. But in addition to that, there's another aspect of the reward. Your brain thinks alcohol is important to your survival. And so when you get some, it gives you another shot of dopamine. And in this context, it reinforces the association between the reward and the cues. And the result of that is that the next time you experience the cues, the urge is stronger. So to drink less is simple. You have to begin interrupting that cycle before you drink. Now most of the time, you're running through this cycle more or less unconsciously. Beer 30 comes along and you find yourself with a beer in your hand. The first step in cutting back then is that you harness your attention. You have to know this cycle is going to happen and use this attention to stop yourself when you feel the urge and not just follow it automatically into the action of drinking. This is really important and your first accomplishment is just to master this skill of catching yourself at this critical moment. Now sometimes, in the beginning, maybe often, you're going to decide yes to drink. That's fine. Deciding yes with conscious thought already has you in a far more powerful position than when you're just drinking on autopilot. So there you are. You've stopped on the verge of making your decision. You've got three options at this point. The first is the one that you're already good at, and that's just to give in to the urge and have a drink. The second option is to resist the urge, which means to fight against it. Resistance might involve complaining to yourself, wishing the feeling would go away. Usually there can be a lot of judgment about having the urge and fighting the urge. So you've probably tried resistance before, and you know that it sucks. You probably know also that it's ineffective. So it's the third option that I'm going to talk about that's your golden ticket, and I refer to this as allowing the urge. When you use this method that I'm going to explain here, it will actually begin to decondition the association between the cues and the reward. And when you do this enough times, the urges diminish and they lose their power to control your behavior. So let me describe allowing. When I say allow the urge, what I mean is to open up to it to breathe into it. You've got to drop your resistance, drop your complaining, drop your judgment. And the way to do that is to put your attention onto the sensations in your body. So things to look out for might include a kind of a heightened energy level. You might notice extra spit in your mouth or you might feel some activity in your belly. The urge may create some tension in your neck or back. And you might feel other sensations in your body of pressure or tingling, warmth or coolness. What you want to do then is just to keep your attention on your body and in the moment, in the presence, and keep yourself from getting distracted by thoughts and complaints. So it helps to actually describe to yourself in your head silently the sensations you're having. And notice how they come in a wave. Think of yourself as surfing that wave of sensation with just an attitude of curiosity. 
What will happen is that eventually the waves will pass and the urge will dissipate. It might take two minutes, it could take 20 minutes. But what I want to recommend is that however long it takes, write it out and as you'll realize it's just not a big deal. Now once you write it out, it dissipates. At this point if you want to drink, this is a good time. By drinking outside of the influence of the urge, you're doing more to decondition the habit cycle. Now, of course, you could continue to delay your drinking through another urge cycle, and the more you delay and surf, the less you'll drink. But what I want you to know is that the main objective, especially in the early stages, is not to get some huge reduction in your drinking. You're not trying to solve this issue all in one night or one week. The goal is to first get yourself out of that autopilot mode and to get comfortable with allowing the urge, learning that you don't have to give in to it, and seeing that it's not actually a painful experience. What I've just explained here are the core techniques in my coaching program that enables my clients to achieve things like cutting their drinking in half within a few weeks of our work together. So try this on your own and see what happens. And if you'd like to get on the fast track for success with this, join me for a free call. We'll have a pleasant conversation. It's free of any sales pressure. And we'll dig into your specific situation to discuss exactly how these techniques can be made to work for you. You'll leave this call with some valuable information and even inspiration that can lead you to make a meaningful transformation in the quality of your life. I use this process on myself and I can tell you with absolute conviction that drinking less is a better way to live. On the page just below this video is a button. You can click that to schedule your call. I want to thank you for watching and I wish you a great day.